And uh, my next guest is from Kentucky Elite Pro Wrestling. Go by the name of J. Ice. He's with me right now. What's good, man? What's going on, man? I'm doing real good. Thank you for being on the show. Uh, thank you for having me. I've been hearing a whole lot about Kentucky Elite Pro Wrestling. Definitely uh, a company to keep an eye on. Making huge, um, huge prog prog progress and process. Um, and uh, I've seen you guys um, at least once so far. It was at Lexington at a ballpark. Uh, it was for uh, for a, a softball team, I believe it was. Yeah, um, fine, man. So talk talk a little bit about Kentucky Elite Pro Wrestling. How did it came about, and how does it feel? You know, for a guy like yourself to be a part of the roster. Uh, it feels real good just to be able to step back in the ring. It's, it feels real good. Uh, it all started with Bobby Doss. Uh, he asked a couple guys if he could get it going to help him out. And he came to us and said, here's what he's going to do, and here's where we stand at. We, uh, we're we doing good things at KEPW. Uh, our next show is July 30th. Uh, of course, uh, he's got some help, some good help from Scott Diamond. And uh, we're looking to do more and more places every month. And I see y'all guys are doing shows mostly at Frankfurt. Y'all also have done shows in other areas in Kentucky, in Lexington, and Nicholasville. Um, but and Irvin. And, uh, and, you know, so forth. Uh, and what makes KEPW very cool is the talent that they have. And uh, I think y'all the only wrestling company in Kentucky that I know of. That has a theme song. Uh, many companies in Kentucky can say that. And the artist that performs the theme song is one of my good friends, Hybrid the Rapper, a Frankfurt native. Uh, no, right. no problem. It's the name of the song. He also he also shot a music video for it, which featured appearances from the wrestlers like yourself. Um Correct. So what's what's it like to have a guy like Hybrid the rapper uh to uh, to be involved in K E P W? Uh that makes everything so more exciting. Uh of course I come out to one of his older songs. I come out to Fight Song and that's one of his uh older songs. Chris also Hybrid the Rapper also sung that. Uh but it's something to get you hyped. It's a it's a hype song, no doubt about it. Uh, I think uh, Bobby's the one who asked him to do that, and he was he was ready to come on board. He uh, he didn't have no problem with it. Of course, the song's called No Problem, that's but he was all in for it. He was all in with us. That's very cool. Uh, and for those who haven't seen the music video, for no problem, you can check it out on YouTube. Um, Hybrid the Rapper is a talented hip-hop artist. He represents that real hip-hop, I believe. And uh, he's got a new album called The Awesome Adventure that's coming out later this year. And if you haven't heard the song, I'm going to need that hoodie back. I'm going to need y'all to, yeah. to get that song a listen. Uh, dude. Yeah, everybody, everybody, everybody go check that out. Everybody go check him out. Yeah, he it's Hybrid the Rapper. And, uh, you know, he's got the original version and he's got the remix. So, you know, whichever is your... Um, now, for you, Jay Ice, uh, what made you decide to become a wrestler? Excuse me? Uh, what made you decide to become a wrestler? Uh, that actually started a long time ago. I knew, I, I, I loved watching wrestling from when I was a little kid. Uh, watching, uh, Jerry Lawler, Bill Dundee, uh, the Fargo's, Sting, Ric Flair, and all of them. Uh, but, uh, my dad and my uncle, they started training back in 1992, and a guy just recently passed away, Dale TNT Man. Uh, he was the one that actually trained them. And I went to every training, 
when I was 11 years old, and I watched them getting trained, and they started wrestling in 93. And uh, they started a bad company. So when I was 15 years old, I walked out with them. And that was 22 years ago. And from there, I, my first match was 17 years old. I was 17 years old. Uh, my first match was against a, a guy named Rowdy Red from Georgetown, Kentucky. And uh, from then, I've loved wrestling all my life. Uh, it's, uh, it's a joy just to come out, just to walk out and see all them kids chance your name it's a it's a feeling like no other so um a few days ago i've heard so much <clears throat> one of a lot of friends um wrestler wrestlers in kentucky has spoke highly about a man who recently passed away uh dale tnt man he uh, unfortunately passed away recently um do you have any memorable moments of Dale that stood out to you? Uh, I used to go to Georgetown and watch him a lot. Uh, him, Danny Fargo, and all of them. Uh, he was a great rapper. Uh, as he trained my dad and my uncle, uh, I, I I was amazed. I mean, at and at 11 years old, you're amazed of just to see your dad getting thrown around in the ring by someone, and he was the one of the guys that done, done it. And uh, but talking to talking to him about wrestling was talking to some talking about a talking to a football coach about football. Yeah, and he was someone that you would you'd sit there and listen. No matter what, and he always talked to us. R.I.P. to TNT. Um, I never had a chance to see him or meet him, um, but after all that I've heard about him and how he's meant to the wrestlers that he has worked with, the companies that he was a part of, and the fans that have loved him. You know, yeah, he was he was he was one of them type of guys that uh he wasn't afraid to tell you what he thought about the situation. Mm-hmm. If uh if you done bad, he was gonna tell you. That's that's just how how I knew him. That's how he was. Absolutely, um, R.I.P. to Dale Man, the TNT thoughts and prayers go out to his family, and um. You know, the state of Kentucky, the wrestling family, lost one of his all-time greats. Um, R.I.P. the Dale Man, the TNT. And, um, again, thoughts and prayers go out to his uh, his family at the at this trying times. Um, so, July 30th, the show you was talking about, collateral damage. It's going to be at Frankfurt at uh, American Legion Post 7. Uh, doors open at 6, bell times at 6.30. Uh, a couple of matches to keep an eye on. Cody Matthews going up against Fiji Wildman in Bull Bull match. Stan Sierra goes up against... Uh, out, well, I, I should take that back. Stan Sierra and Sean Bain will be in action. I'm not sure if they're facing against each other or not. But uh, Johnny Sway and Jimmy Lamb will go at it. Scott Diamond is the referee. And uh, you... J. Ice got a score to settle with for uh, Dalsman. Uh, yes, I do. You have had quite the wivy with him for quite some time. Um, yes, I have. So talk about this rivalry that you two have had and, and how are you feeling preparing for this match, which is a week from this Sunday. Well, it all started. It all started a couple months back. Uh you know when somebody, when one of your friends lets you down, uh, it just it just touches you in that spot. And when he allowed Scott Diamond to suspend me, 
uh, it just touched that spot. And I'm not going to forget it until he's laying in the middle of that ring and uh, I have the last laugh. This, the, the, on July 30th, it's going to be a lumberjack strap match. And any, any time that I can, I'm going to throw him outside that ring. Mm. That's definitely a match to keep an eye on. Uh, Kentucky Elite Pro Wrestling, collateral damage a week from this Sunday at Fight for Kentucky. Uh, you can check out uh, Kentucky Elite Pro Wrestling. That's on, on Facebook. Give them a like, and you know what's going on in the upcoming shows. Uh, so yeah, we're, 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 we're good upcoming. We're, we're coming up, and we're coming up fast. And we want everybody to notice us. And uh, definitely keep an eye on KEPW um, for the remainder of the year and many years to come. Uh, Jay Ice, great chatting with you. I know we've been trying to get this interview to happen for quite some time now, but I'm glad to be able to make it happen. Uh, so thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you. And uh, continue success, man. Thank you. Ho- hopefully, uh, hopefully we see you in the next show. I'll definitely keep an eye on y'all for sure. You have a good night. You too.